Just Your Average Podcast. I'm Chris. I'm Chad. And... Get some sad news. Chris... This is other Chris, by the way. No, this is Chris now. Turns out, Chris left us. He... He went... He's on vacation in California. He's in a better place. He's in a better place. I am extremely jealous, because we're in Rhode Island, where I want to fuck with you. Be like, it's cold, but later on in the day, it's going to be 50. Hey, and then... We got Corona! We did it! We're in the news! Rhode Island's got Corona! <laughs> and in his hometown. My hometown. The town I grew up in, North Kingstown. It's really fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, especially considering we work on the port with cars going from Mexico. Mexico, Germany, Germany and everything. Yeah. When we see them wear masks, which we now do. <laughs> yeah, we're like, should we be wearing what? masks? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I stopped shaking people's hands at that job. Yeah. I'm fucking done, man. It's like, what up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> eh. Coronavirus, man. First case in New York, too. Yep. Actually, I was listening to NPR on the way here, and while they were giving a press conference about corona spreading in the United States, like five minutes in, a new case was detected. So it's like, yep, it's here. It's here. I hate why. You know what's hilarious, too, about this? Everybody's trying to downplay it like it's not a big deal. Dude, it's just like the flu. No. We have a cure for the flu. We don't have a cure for corona. And everybody's like, yeah, but only this many people died of coronavirus. Yeah, yet. Like, I mean, this take... many people that... It's it's something like 3,000 globally and 2,900 of them are from China. Yeah. And it's like, because we know China never lies. <laughs> did you hear about South Korea, dude? They're fucked. No, did you hear about the cult Christian Catholic Church? How they wouldn't allow their people to wear face masks and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah, so the lady went in there with coronavirus to get everybody infected. Yeah, uh, like 500 people, right? Something yeah. ridiculous South like that. South Korea's fucked right now, and, everybody's getting sick. And, um, what was he gonna say? Yeah, that cult leader's whole thing, it's a doomsday cult. Yeah. So he, his whole thing is, I want corona to come here. And yeah, it's like a crazy Catholic, off. like, doomsday cult. But they don't hard. believe in the afterlife, they just think the world needs to, it's a, it's kind of a cool cult if you think about it. <laughs> it's like a death cult, you know? If you were a star of the cult, what kind of cult would it be? Death cult. Straight up. Why would you want to die? Well, because... In the long like, run, be like, alright, we're going to wait till I actually die, then you all... No, no, no. It's, what it's going to be is like, okay, I'm starting a cult. It's because I want your money, and I want to fuck you. <laughs> and because... So you'd be the one that's like, you have to do this. Yeah, I'd be a Jim Jones. You know, I get everyone. You just have the shades. I get everyone to go to a foreign country with me. She'd be I, all coked out. Your eyes would be all crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The sunglasses and everything. Well, he wasn't. He wasn't just on coke. Like, yeah, he was heroin, heroin and, stuff. and fucking meth and LSD. I can't do heroin. So. I can't. I'm allergic to opioids. Thank you. God. Welcome to Just Your Average Podcast. I'm Chris. I'm Chad, and get some sad news, Chris. This is other Chris, by the way. No, this is Chris now. Turns out, Chris left us. He... He went... He's on vacation in California. He's in a better place. He's in a better place. I am extremely jealous, because we're in Rhode Island, where I want to fuck with you. Be like, it's cold, but later on in the day, it's going to be 50. Hey, and then... We got Corona! We did it! We're in the news! Rhode Island's got Corona! <laughs> and... His hometown. My hometown. The town I grew up in, North Kingstown. It's really fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, especially considering we work on the port with cars going from Mexico. Mexico, Germany, Germany and everything. Yeah. When we see them wear masks, which we now do. Yeah, we're all like, should we be what? wearing masks? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I stopped shaking people's hands at that job. Yeah. I'm fucking done, man. It's like, what up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Meh. Coronavirus, man. First case in New York, too. Yep. Actually, I was listening to NPR on the way here, and while they were giving a press conference about corona spreading in the United States, like five minutes in, a new case was detected. So it's like, yep, it's here. It's here. I hate why. You know what's hilarious, too, about this? Everybody's trying to downplay it like it's not a big deal. Dude, it's just like the flu. No. We have a cure for the flu. We don't have a cure for corona. And everybody's like, yeah, but only this many people died of coronavirus. Yeah, yet. Like, I mean, this take... many people that... It's it's something like 3,000 globally and 2,900 of them are from China. Yeah. And it's like, because we know China never lies. <laughs> did you hear about South Korea, dude? They're fucked. No, did you hear about the cult Christian Catholic Church? 
how they wouldn't allow their people to wear face masks and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the lady went in there with coronavirus to get everybody infected. Yeah, uh, like 500 people, right? Something yeah. ridiculous like South that. South Korea is fucked right now. And, everybody's getting sick. And um, what was he going to say? Yeah, that cult leader's whole thing, it's a doomsday cult. Yeah. So he, his whole thing is, I want Corona to come here. And yeah, it's like a crazy Catholic, off. like, doomsday cult. But it's they hard. don't believe in the afterlife. They just think the world needs it. It's, a, it's kind of a cool cult, if you think about it. <laughs> it's like a death cult, you know? If you ever started a cult, what kind of cult would it be? Death cult. Straight up. Why would you want to die? Well, because... In the long like, run, be like, alright, we're going to wait till I actually die, then you all... No, no, no. It's, what it's going to be is like, okay, I'm starting a cult. It's because I want your money, and I want to fuck you. <laughs> and because... So you'd be the one that's like, you have to do this. Yeah, I'd be a Jim Jones. You know, I get everyone. We just have the shades. I get everyone to go to a foreign country with me. See, so be all coked out. Your eyes would be all crazy. Oh, yeah, sunglasses and everything. Well, he wasn't. He wasn't just on coke. Like, yeah, he was heroin, heroin and, stuff. and fucking meth and LSD. I can't do heroin. Stuff. I can't. I'm allergic to opioids. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but no. If I were to start a cult, I, it would it would just be like a crazy doomsday cult. Something about aliens, maybe because dumb people love That'd aliens. Awesome. I talk about flat Earth to get those morons in on it, and then. uh then we'd be like, but the aliens just told us the earth is right. Well, I'd say the Anunnaki, and I'd go into that fucking <laughs> bullshit. It turns out they were here millions of years ago, and we evolved because they needed us to mine gold. <laughs> now suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely be a cult being like, our mission is to find reptilians. That's the other direction you can see. Yeah. You're going to go subterranean, I'm going to go up <laughs> to the sky, and then our cult's a war. <laughs> <laughs> Like the we need to find Hillary Clinton and expose her. Right, and then Biden's like, we gotta go to Obama. He knows about space, I guess. And then just fucking... Elon like, Musk is enemy number one. Yeah, for you guys. <laughs> we need to go deeper. And I'm like, no, to the stars. Oh, it's fucking like, what would possess somebody to actually be in a cult, though? You're just lost. Like, emotionally and mentally. Um, a lot of cult members were people who were abused growing yeah. up. Um, sexually, mentally, physically. Yeah, but what about the people that are just like perfectly normal that have gone into it? Is it just like, do you think it's just people bored? That too. I was listening to this um, physicist who gave a talk at what he thought was just going to be a seminar, but it turns out it was like a recruiting pin for a cult. So he spends the day with the cult, right? Just learning everything about them. And then he gets up on the podium and he goes, this is all bullshit, you know? Like, and he just fucking tears the cult apart. And everyone's applauding for him. And he's like, okay. And then someone pulls him aside after and is like, look, we know most of this shit is made up, but you know, it's something to do. It gives me purpose. It fills. And it's like, okay, so you're, you're an empty shell of a human being, you know? Like you are aware this is bullshit, but you're still in it. That's like, have you ever heard of the father who... Father Yod? I don't know. He moved in with his uh, daughter in a dorm. And he started pimping out all the girls, and he would, yeah. like, physically abuse them and yeah. shit like that. Like, there's just, we shared Earth with those people. It's yeah, like, scary. he literally, like, convinced all these girls and everything to, like, do whatever he asks. And Sell everything. drugs and prostitute and himself. And he made so much money and stuff. All and he would those. fuck them all, too. Yeah. And they were all, like... And he was a retired cop, too. I know. Well, that's how he knew how to do it. Yeah. That's, that's the shitty part about being a cop, is, like, one day you might realize, like, why bother? I know how to do this. It's like being a superhero. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I'm doing all this for free, but what if I could be Booster Gold? Booster Gold's awesome. Look, he's not... Sponsorships, bro. He's like not... a NASCAR driver. Yeah, but he, they, <laughs> they kind of went the other direction. They, he, well, like, he started out as that. He started out as that, and then he met he Superman. Was, yeah. He actually met Superman and was like, oh, okay, I'll be a hero. Yeah. I don't know. But, I don't know. Plus, Cops get a bad rap sometimes. Plus, Skeets would just harass him constantly and be like, you're a whore. And you'd be like, fuck <laughs> you, Skeets. That'd be me if I was a superhero, though. I'd be like, I don't give a shit. Uh, anyway, yeah. Yeah, cops get a bad rap. Do you hear about the six-year-old that got arrested? Boy, did I am. I do. Keep in mind, my father's a retired cop. So, oh, yeah, yes, so I heard about all that. about the six-year-old. And Bob said, if a six-year-old fucking resisted arrest, and uh, the reason he was called there is because the six-year-old was fighting adults, and then this little girl pulled away from him. Bob said he would remind her that he is an adult and way bigger. You know what I mean? See, if I feel like it was a cop, I'd be like, no, you know what will happen if you keep this Right, and that's what the teachers did, and then the teachers got punched and kicked. Yeah. Also, the reason she got arrested is because one of the teachers who was punched and kicked wanted to press charges. That's the only reason she got taken away in cuffs. She's like, sweet baby. Or she was like, fuck this little fucking brat. If... 
if it gets to the point where you're punching and kicking your teachers, it's because you're an asshole. Yeah. I don't care how old you are. But I feel like a lot of the stuff, like, in the video, they actually hear the teachers in the background going, I don't think this is necessary. It doesn't matter stuff. if you think it's necessary. You called me there. My job is to secure criminals. Yeah. If you didn't want me there and you didn't want me to take them away, why'd you call me? I just got a little mad when he was bragging about it being a Yeah, but that's just shop talk. That's just shop talk. You do that with the cops in your buddy group. You don't do that around the people that you're arresting her around. You know what they could have said? They could have said a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. When I used to go on patrol with my dad and he would like, like fucking find yeah, someone. That was before like they had all this the shit. body cams. Yeah. I love how they were like, we need body cams to expose cops being assholes. And all it's done is shown cops not being assholes. Well, it's about half and half. It's more like. Probably a 80, quarter, yeah. It's more like 80, 20 cops doing the right thing. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, if a cop's shooting at you, it's probably because you fucked up super duper duper hard. No, because there was this one dude that... I forget what he was being chased for, but it was not that serious. Oh, you're talking about the kid who was involved in the drive-by? And when no, the cop no, said, do you have a gun, he just booked it? And then no, the cop it was, was nothing like, to do with that. Okay. It was something else I really wish I remembered. But they tried to catch him, so he ran. They just literally started shooting at him. Yes, and that's, they're on, that's, he, was, he was in a car. It was like a day or two ago, right? No, this was a... No, this is like very recent. Oh, it's recent. And oh, even yeah. the captain's like... Well, the yeah. captain has to say that. I don't know. Oh, speaking of cops doing badass shit, dude, that Jesse Smollett fuck is like... Fuck that guy. Fuck dude. that guy. I'm so glad the chief of Chicago is like, no. Talk about somebody we're... trying to take advantage I... of like... Oh, pride. it's the worst. Dude, faking racism to advance your career is fucking disgusting. He was doing fine, too. Which he was I... actually getting kicked off the show because he wasn't doing fine. Really? Yeah. I'm the gay Tupac. Now you're going to jail for falsifying a police report, you dumb fuck. So stupid, like... When he answered the door, he had the noose around his neck still, and the cops were like, why? <laughs> you know, like, why do you still have that around your neck? If you were going to do, I'm sure you would have done it without us interrupting you. No, 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 the noose, because apparently he got beaten up, got bleach poured on him, and a noose around his neck, and they told, you're in Trump country now, in the streets of Chicago. And it wasn't, like, two Spanish guys? It was two uh, Nigerian, like, uh, bodybuilders. Yeah. So obviously he was banging them, and they came up with this plan, like, hey, let's make a fuck ton of money <laughs> preying on, uh, you know, liberals, and pretend racism is a thing. Then he get caught, then he doubled down and filed a police report, and the cops were like, you sure? You really sure you want to file this police report? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, they did this to me, and then now he's going to jail possibly for 15 years. Idiot. <sighs> idiot, idiot, idiot. Fucking woke culture is just driving me crazy. It's so stupid. Like, the, the biggest problem I have with it is just the way it affects movies and TV and everything. Like, you get, can't. Do, get woke, go broke. You've heard dude, that a million just like, times. I guarantee you, if all these woke kids go and like watch Map in the Middle, or some show like that back in the day. Like they used to flip s- their fuck, uh, like they used to say like the F word for gay people all the time. I Ace, say. Ace Ventura. Yeah. The villain's a the trans. The first fucking vid- movie. Yeah. That would not happen nowadays. And then, and then when they find out that she's a tranny, He's everyone like, starts yeah. vomiting. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's in the room just pukes because yeah. it's such a gross idea. Like that would never happen nowadays. That's almost like things were better back then. It's almost like people had like a sense of humor and didn't yeah. have a stick up their ass the whole time. Well, whatever. The left is cannibalizing themselves. Pretty soon that whole ideology will be... My ass opinion is, like, it's kind of awful, but the most reason I want Trump out of office is so everybody starts personalizing themselves with politics. No, it's... I think they'll double down. I think if Trump loses, they'll be like, see, it works. And um, then, yeah. I just don't like how people's, like, personalities are... What dictated they by politics, politics now. Like, it's just awful. Well, dude, that's... I, I, a fucking girl broke up with me because she found out I did, voted for Trump. I you out of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. You wouldn't kick me out. I'm too cool. Um, I was going to say, yeah, she was like, you voted for Trump? And I was like, yeah, you know, I like his economic policies. I am, uh, I'm pro-isolationism, and I know that's racist, apparently, but hey, maybe I want to focus on my own people before I start focusing on others. And um, she was like, you're racist. You're a Nazi. I was like, we've been dating for like three months. Have I ever done or said anything racist? <laughs> no. You're Turkish. You think if I was racist, I would <laughs> date, you know? Like, come on, man. Yeah, people definitely get a little... She was racist as fuck. I, I wore shoes into her apartment and she went, ugh, white people. And I was like, excuse me? And she goes, you always wear shoes. 
indoors and I was like, I don't know how fucking clean your floors are. <laughs> and then she got all offended. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, fuck you. Ugh. Oh. I just, I, like Mulan, what were you talking about with Mulan? Oh, boy. All right, first of all, I kind of remember. They're taking the love interest out. Shang. Shang. Which, in Mulan, the whole premise of that movie was, I am a strong, independent woman. And then he falls in love with her. For yeah, but that. who cares if she falls? She no, no, no. saves he, his. He falls in love with her when she quits the army and saves the day. He's yeah. like, damn, she's awesome. And then in the end battle, she saves his fucking That's life. That's what I'm saying. He, so if you want a woke ass movie, right? Here comes this big badass military general who's like, "You killed my fucking dad," and he's about to get murdered. And then she shows up and blows him up with a rocket. Yeah. It's like, yeah, <laughs> like oh, Disney is just. They're trying. Well, now they're... It's not uh, even justice, you know. You can't blame justice. It's... 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 It, it, it's... It's Hollywood trying to make a buck. Yeah. And all they're doing is exposing themselves as neo-libs who... Like, it's either between, like, bending over to China or bending over the woke people. Yeah. Because everyone knows if you scream the loudest, that means you're right. Listen to Joe Rogan talk about woke people. It's the best. He kind of... Fucking hate. I love how they fucking turned on him so hard, and it like it, it shook him. He was like, "Oh my god, these people are like this," and now he's he's fucking on an all meat diet. He's like talking all these like conservative talking points now and bringing on conservative people. Uh, he's like, "Fuck you guys," you know. He's like, "Have you watched my show?" I tried to stay in the middle, but now you're pushing me to the right, which yeah. which happened to me too. Like I was in the middle, and now I feel like we're both pretty. Middle. Everybody but, likes to say I'm a liberal and all this oh, shit. Oh, well, that's a joke, though. But I'm not a fucking Democrat. No, I fucking hate not. Democrats. Me they're too. all a bunch of fucking assholes who just want to fight over each other. And they're like, we need to be Trump. We need to be united. But I'm going to talk shit about this guy. Also, it's like, okay, so I voted for you to beat Trump. You beat Trump. Now what are you going to do? Don't know. Beat him. Yeah. Really? Because the economy was, like, doing good until he... Like, like, that's why the only reason that I like Bernie Sanders the most is because he doesn't talk about... Being Trump as often as he talks yeah. about what he wants to do. I don't like Sanders. Do you know what his policy is? His tax the rich policy? Do you know what he considers rich? Anyone making more than $27,000 a year. So basically everyone but super poor people like us is yeah. going to get the shit ta tax out of it. Yeah, but I feel like... Bye-bye, middle class. I feel like at the end of the day, it's going to be pushed up and they're not going to do it. Because they're going to have everybody... There's no way it's going to pass. It. If it's a Republican... No, that's why I'm saying they're going to rewrite the bill and all that stuff and... Yeah. They're going to be like, maybe 60000 Because I make probably like... I used to make 40000 I have never made more than twenty. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I'm working two jobs, I'm probably making 40000 Yeah. Again. Oh, well, you're getting taxed. Yeah. Oh, what is that? This is... Is that the threesome thing? Yeah. Cyclops and Wolverine are definitely having sex on the moon. They've With been teammates and enemies, but act new X-Men number seven shows Cyclops and Wolverine in a new relationship. And they aren't alone on the moon base. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck like, you. I heard about this you. a while ago. It's basically them being like, we're both banging Gene now. Fuck that. Wolverine married a Japanese woman, fell in love with her, and could never fall in love again. The I whole like loving Gene Grey thing was is so no, stupid. It could have been cool at the beginning, but get the fuck over it. You're it's how so old? You are how old, Wolverine? And he wanted to. He was lusting after a 14 year old girl. So stupid. Cyclops is a total Chad. Wolverine's a fucking manlet. They hate each other. Not really anymore. I like it it's always been like a friendly rivalry. Yeah, but but, not but to fuck each other. There's that, there's that one in Astonishing X Men where like the Sentinel shows up on the base and uh, on on the X Mansion and Cyclops is like, God damn it! He just rips his visor off and just blows like a giant like five mile <laughs> wide explosion and totals a Sentinel. And then Wolverine turns to him and goes. You know, every now and again, I remember why you're in charge. And it's just like, yeah, like, they're buddies. But they don't... It's so... No, just give Wolverine his own girl. Or fucking make Cyclops start banging Emma Frost again, because she's obviously the better choice. Hot, blonde, fucking kinky as fuck. Static Redhead's better. Yeah, but she's a whiny bitch who keeps dying. <laughs> like, she dies all the time. <laughs> Oh, wait, is this the teen Jean Grey that um, Beast brought back from the past? Because if that's the case, this is two 50-year-old guys, give or take, trying to bang a teenager <laughs> on a moon base alone. Ugh. They better end with them not banging and her me too them both. And then they have to go to court and stuff and get Weinstein. Like, is his hand on Wolverine's shoulder? Yeah, they're buddies, dude. They're going to bang the shit out of that redhead together. He's like, you got your wish, bud. 
No, he calls him Bub. And Wolverine's yeah. like, don't call me Bub. That's Hugh Jackman. Yeah. You know, no, man. I don't give a shit. I I'm Jack Jack can Jack dance. Yeah. His fucking brother shamed him I when know. he was younger. But hey, thank God we got a fucking the perfect Wolverine casting out of it. Yeah. Russell Crowe, maybe. Tom Hardy, I feel like, should have been Wolverine. He's he should enough. He shouldn't have done Venom. Whatever. I like him as Venom, though, so I'm good as shit. Yeah, the Venom movie was good for what it was. Oh, the fucking new one's gonna be nuts with, Kip, what's his name, Carnage? Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson, I don't care what anyone says, dude's a great actor. It's the hair. Looks, You'll see a picture of it. Yeah. Hair. What do you feel about Flat Earth? I think Flat Earth is bullshit, but if I'm gonna start a cult, everyone's gonna believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear about Mad Mike Hughes? Mad Mike Hughes? The self-made astronaut? What could possibly go wrong? The thing I can't believe is he actually had his first launch and survived. Like, yeah, he was successful. He only, he only got, like, fucking a thousand feet in the air. Still, this is some fucking random dude making a rocket and he lived. Yeah, we... You gotta give him a lot more props than that. I know, but we've been doing that forever. This is an untrained... Oh, because NASA was trained when they first started, right? Yeah, it was a bunch of smart ass. Yeah, they just walked in and knew how to make it. Right? And this is just one dude. Yeah, I don't know. But sadly, he passed away. Not sadly. At the comically. age of sixty. Let's say comically. Cause like, comically, because the parachutes been good. How the fuck else is this guy? And I guarantee you, this is pretty bad. He launched up in the air, saw that the Earth had the curvature, and was like, you know what? Fuck this. They're actually saying um, because he. <laughs> He wasn't trained to deal with G forces that he passed out. So yeah, maybe. when the parachutes didn't deploy, he didn't hit the emergency release button because he was just unconscious. So he didn't feel anything, which is, I guess, nice. Yeah. I like to think he just was like, I'm wrong. There is a god. <laughs> Whatever. He was a stunt limo driver. That's so, like, I don't. If they make money off it, why not? I also heard he was faking the whole flat earth thing just to get them to donate to him, so... Smart guy. Smart guy, scumbag. What are those fucking flat earth people, dude? Why the fuck would you think the earth was flat? Just... I mean, talk to Eddie Bravo. <laughs> he'll, yell, he'll yell at you for hours. Good or bad about it? Was he a flat earth? Oh, he's a... Eddie Bravo, you yeah. know that uh, MMA guy that goes on Rogan all the time? Yeah. yeah, he's a... Everything is a conspiracy. The government lies so about... So he's not a flat earther? No, he's 100% a flat earther. He thinks NASA's a lie because it's how they get us to give them money. But it's like, they're the government. If they wanted <coughs> to give them money, they would just take money. I forgot to hit record on Audacity, by the way. That's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking... Oh, like, why would you think the Earth is black, though? What logical sense would that be? Like, just to sort of think, like, if it was flat, it's big. Well, then you couldn't circumnavigate the globe like they did. Magellan did it. You just go around a big circle. It's gravity pushing you around. Ugh, so dumb. That's an excuse they would probably give you, too. Yeah, but it's like Magellan in the 1400s, right? No, earlier. No, later. When was Magellan? I think it was 1400. Anyway. Him and a fucking, yeah, right? Him and like five dude or five boats were like, we're just gonna go that way and see what happens. And then they came back. We made it. And everyone was like, oh, and he was like, Yes, it's round. <laughs> you know? It's not like he sailed out and then went down around Africa, went up to Asia, and was like, Look, I faked it. And he was like, No, he went that it's way. It's so stupid too. Like we have all these satellites doing pictures of the gear. No, it's all fake. Dude, did you see the moon landing? Fake. I love when Mythbusters tried to prove that it was fake, but inadvertently proved it was real. Like, what was the whole thing where people were like, the flag's waving, but it's, what was the real excuse that it was um, waving? Because they said it looked like it was windy, but, like, if you brought a flag out into the moon and you pl it would, so they had, like, a, and they had, like, a rod in it, mm. right? So it would stand out straight, and it only looks like it's waving because the light and the shadows. Yeah. And the camera on the fucking thing was, like, a one megapixel camera on the leg of the space cruiser. Or, uh, moon lander, I should say. I hate people. And also, like, dude, why would you want the moon landing to be fake? It's, like, the coolest thing we've ever done yeah. as a species. It's like, what are you, un-American? We went to, like, just as a human we being. We fucking beat Russia. But just as a human being. We went to another planet and walked on it. That's so I'm gonna cool. I'm going to laugh so hard if Elon Musk is the first person to go to Mars. I hope so. I put my name on that list for the one-way trip to Mars. Work, for a, work like a slave to earn your keep. 
No, I'll just play it. It'll turn That's into socialism. It'll turn into Red Faction. <laughs> Everybody just gets pissed. Like, where's the beer? Did you ever play that game, Red Faction? <laughs> Literally, they send you to the Ma Mars to like live this life as like an awesome rich guy, and when you get there, they just stick you in a mine and force you to work. <laughs> and then eventually, you lead like a revolution, and it's it's run off the Half Life engine. That's cool. Yeah, it was it was a pretty good game, and it had like really good destruction physics, where because you're a miner, all your tools are mine like mining based. So like. The level's this big level, but you can just go in a straight line through the walls, because, <laughs> like, you have, like, a pickaxe and explosives and stuff like that, so you can just avoid things. It was a pretty cool game. Meh. Nah. Well, I don't know. Those people just seem to chill. Yeah. They just need some plastic love. Plastic love. Maybe I'll start playing right about now. Do I have it queued up? No, I'm a bad dude. I am a bad I'll, Jamie. I will put it on the I'm video. the worst fucking Jamie. You're a bad Jamie. What's wrong with you? I'm trying, man. I'm new. I'm just as bad as Amazon right now, thinking I can get away with having grocery stores where there's no people working other than, like, the stalkers. Nothing is going to stop me from robbing that place. <laughs> How many cameras? You think they have, like, cameras on, like, every shelf just watching people? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I go in there with a hood. Go in there once, take what I need, and never go back. You'll never catch me. run. <laughs> it's like that dude who was going in the stop and shop, and he would take two of the cart, uh, hand carts, and he would just fill them with Red Bull and leave. And he would do it once a week, <laughs> and they're still looking for him. I think it was in, like, Fall River or something that he's doing it. It's like a Rhode Island thing, because, of course, yeah. we're a weird, shitty state. He probably lives in Cranston. 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 <sighs> or he's from the bucket. But this is fucking insane, though. Like, literally... You scan your phone to log into your Amazon shopper thing. Go in there. Somehow it tracks. Like, I don't know if they're making you scan every item, but you literally just walk out and it takes it out of your credit card from your Amazon app. Maybe it's like, you know how banks nowadays, if the bank is closed, you have to put your card in for the door to unlock and stuff like that? Yeah. Maybe you're going to have to, like, hold your phone up to a thing, scan it, doors unlock, you can go in, and then the doors lock again. In the video I saw, literally, was people walking up, scanning their phone, just walking. Hmm. I'm gonna rob one if they ever show up. I'm never paying for groceries again. And now fucking Walmart is trying to do Amazon Prime stuff. Everyone's trying to do it. You think Walmart will ever be able to succeed? They have the capital. They do have the money. They already have like their free, like their two, three day the, shipping. Thing. And the pickup. Yeah. On site pickup. I love how Stop and Shop's doing it. I never see anyone yeah. ever doing it. Just parking the spots. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I feel like it's like parking in a handicapped spot because if someone needs it and you're there, you're the asshole. It's a lot different. It's the same thing. It is a lot. To, don't park in handicapped spots. It's like that fucking idiot who got shot. That guy deserved it. What was it? Uh, remember the old white guy who shot the black dude who shoved him to the ground? Because the, 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 the couple parked in a handicapped spot, so this old white guy goes up to him and he's like, you can't park there, because the old white guy had relatives who were, like, handicapped. Yeah. So he's like, you can't park there. And she's like, fuck you. And he's like, excuse me, fuck you. And then the boyfriend comes out, and they're yelling back and forth, and he shoves the old guy to the ground, so the old guy just, boom, and gets him in the gut. And then he dies. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Patty's niece is handicapped, like, in a wheelchair, so. I know. I get so mad. It, it, Especially, it, like, the thing is, like, you have the handicapped spot, then you have that spot next to it that has, like, the lines. Yeah, and people That's park so wheelchairs there. can come That's out. That's for the van, so the fucking thing can come down. Yeah. Ah, like Patty's sister gets so mad when people do that. It it boils my blood. Oh, it's such a shitty thing to do. It's the one thing they get. You know why would you take it away from them? Ugh. It's the one thing they get. I definitely wish places had more uh, expecting mother parking. That's a weird. Well, maybe we can consider expecting mother handicap and just loop them in. Yeah. But then you have chicks being perpetually pregnant just to get a nice parking spot. <laughs> You're gonna get me a good pocket spot, baby. Oh. So, uh, what color was that, boys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Man, we're not racist. I am not racist. I love everybody. I That's think... the problem with woke. You can't make jokes without being racist. Mm -hmm. God, did you ever listen to that uh, NPR interview with Kevin Hart? Where it was after the whole Golden Globes controversy or whatever? And they're trying to get him to admit that making dirty jokes and racist jokes and stuff like that is bad humor. And he's going, and his argument is literally, but if it's funny, it's funny. And they're yeah. like, but, but you can tell a joke about the weather, can't you? And he goes, yeah, I can. That's that not funny. funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, if you want to get angry, listen to old Eddie Murphy. Even listen to old Chris Rock if you want to get mad at Chris other racism. Chris fucking Rock. 
Because the problem is, racism only goes one way. Yeah. Like, if you're racist toward... Like, I don't want to sound like an asshole. Like, I really don't. But I hate it when people say... White privilege. Yeah. But if a person's making fun of... Like, any race is making fun of white people, mm-hmm. that's not racism. What I like is how people just ignore how fucking racist, like, like Asia is. Like, that area. Yeah. They're all racist towards each... Like, horribly, horribly racist towards each other. They're all like, we're the best. Exactly. The best. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, I don't know. We, why just, can't... we just gloss over it. <laughs> it's like, I don't hate any... Like, I've met plenty of people other races, and I don't hate them. I yeah. just hate stereotypes of how people act. I fucking hate white trash people. I would much rather talk to a ghetto person than a white trash person. Because they're always so rude, and they're very ignorant, and they're just obnoxious. Yeah, ghetto people kind of suck. Oh, oh, you were talking about white trash. See what I mean, though? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, it's that type of person that you yeah. hate. You hate an ignorant, loud motherfucker, regardless of color, creed, or any of that. <clears throat> it's like... That's oh. why Martin Luther King said, judging man by the contents of his color, or character, not the color of his skin. Yeah. What he meant was, if it's a good person, they're a good person. If they're an asshole, they're a fucking asshole. Yeah. Everybody is brought up a certain way, and everybody ends up realizing what they do with their lives. So if you're brought up in a shitty way... Sooner or later, you're going to realize I'm a shitty person, so I'm going to make myself better. But you know what the worst is? Portuguese. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, the worst is those super rich white people. Yeah. Who won't even answer the door when you're delivered. Like, I hate it. I will walk up to a door. I'll see somebody in a window. I'll wave to them. We'll get happy. And be able- knock on the door, ring the doorbell. And they just ignore you? They just ignore you. That's and so I'm like, rude. you're fucking right there. I see you. And you're hiding. See, you're every- t- why are people so afraid to answer the door now? Uh, because the news tells them to. Also, Corona. So it's kind of okay yeah, right before now. that. Like, I know, I know. But honestly, like, old people, like, they wait. And the best thing I like doing is dropping off a package up there. I know they won't answer. Walking down to my van, just going like this. And then I see them open the door. And they do the instant. <laughs> do you run back? <laughs> no, they open the door and they look at me and I just go. No, what you should do is when they open the door, you're going to go, hey, hey, and like run out. <laughs> no, it's awesome, because I like making them feel like idiots, because yeah, I just yeah. wait till I'm like, yeah, how you guys doing? And I'm like, I'm not a murderer. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You order off a website that literally brings somebody to your house. Yeah. And if, Don't get if, scared when they come to your house yeah. to deliver it. Was the day we told about the time I was going to break into 80s house, uh, that 80s, like, looking ass house at the town beach. Me and, uh, me and some friends thought it was abandoned, and we were like, we need a hangout spot, right? Because the lawn was always unkempt, and like every, it just looked dusty and shady. So uh, it's like, it's, and we were going to scout it out, like I was going to case the joint. So we, like, we park away, and then I like sneak up, and I'm like looking through windows, looking through windows, and I'm looking at what I think is a mannequin, and then the mannequin crouches and looks at me, and it's a guy, and I was just like, and booked it, you know? <laughs> I was just like, fuck, man. This reminds me back in the day when me and my friends used to be like, we just wanted to the streets at night because yeah. we were trying to be punk. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, know. I did the same thing. We were trying to be grunge. Yeah, but we just wandered around, sleep in the woods. But then we would always find these houses that were being built. So we were just like always crack. They always leave the windows open. So we would crack the windows, go get a sleeping bag, sleep on the floor in there. Yeah, yeah. Party, yeah. piss in corners. Yeah. yeah, I know. I used to do that too. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Being a kid. Being a kid. Imagine trying to do that now, we'd be arrested. Dude, I, I wouldn't even want to. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like this is not comfortable. I have a bed. <laughs> you know? I have a bed in the car. I don't need to be here. I miss doing super shit, Lou. Oh, dude, so much. I miss being able to just, like, yeah, just to, like, wander and not have to worry about anything. Well, that's why I hated North Kingstown. North Kingstown, you can't, if it's, like, 9 o'clock at night, you can't walk the streets. Remember at the time we were skating and it was, like, 7 30 and the sun was going down <laughs> and this female cop comes up to us, what are you boys doing? Skating? You guys got homes? And I went, excuse me? And she went, go to your home. And I was like, and I was going down like Brown in Wickford, just that, <laughs> like, you know, that yeah, short little yeah, plat. Yeah. They had just paved it and I wanted to test out my new trucks. So it's a I, super like private road that's not busy at all. So it's perfect for skating. Yeah. So I was just, you know, testing out my fucking deck. Yeah. And this chick is like, go home. And I was like, well, you can't, you don't get to talk to me like that. And she was like, yeah, I do. And I was like, oh. my dad had retired at this point. But usually I was like, I was like, in my mind, I was like, should I call my dad and get this bit, like this bitch's number, you know, like, <laughs> fuck, get her fired? Fuck this cunt. You don't get to talk to me like Dude, that. Dude, even like back in the day, me and my buddy Paul, like, granted he did have a mohawk. I mean, my hair was down to here. Yeah, he had a mohawk that was up to here, but literally every time we were walking down the street, he would cop would pull us over, search us, and be like, dude, we don't do drugs. Also, uh, 
I went on a ride along with my dad, and there was these two punk kids walking down the street at Warwick, and Bob went, watch this. <laughs> and so he, he flashes them, what are you boys doing? And they're like, nothing. You're like, shouldn't you be in school? And they're like, it's Saturday. And he goes, I know. <laughs> and then he gets in his car and drives away. He's like, it's fun to fuck with them. And I was just like, why? It's so awful. I know. I just remember one time I was driving home. Like, granted, it was three in the morning. But I fell asleep. I was ended up getting super sick between the time I fell asleep. And I wasn't drinking or anything. We were just watching movies and I fell asleep. So I'm driving home, going to speed them down Newcomb. It's like a 25 mile hour road. Cop pulls me over. He's like, I smell pot. And I'm like, no, you don't. Sir, I really don't smoke pot. Like, I smoke cigarettes back when I smoked. And I'm like, that's probably what you're smelling. He's like, I'll take it. Just get out of the car. And I'm like, okay. Sir, I promise you, I don't smoke weed. You made me get out of the car. It's fucking negative degrees. It's like win- mid-winter where yeah. it's freezing. And you were completely naked for some reason. No, I just had like a sweatshirt on. So I'm like shivering. And I was out there for an hour while he searched my car. And another cop pulls up. He's like, this kid's, like, shivering uncontrollably. Can you let him go? Like, you're not finding anything. This was an NK? Yeah. Well, yeah, NK cops are douchebags because yeah, they're not real fucking cops. Yeah, because two of the NK cops. cops back in the day used to be skinheads. Yeah. They're probably still cops. One of them beat up some kid I went to high school with, took him to Quonset behind one of the fucking yeah. buildings and kicked the shit out of him and came to school with a broken arm and black eyes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they were two legit skinheads. Yeah. Oh. And then that one douchebag with the sleeve tattoo that hates my fucking family because yeah. my dad fucking, like... Like, put him on blast. I was like, that's not how you be a cop, asshole. And he was like, who are you? And my dad was like, Sergeant Rocco. And then the guy was like, uh, uh, uh. And it was like, yeah, exactly, you fucking idiot. Like, the only... Like, I want to have a job that's cool and does good. But I feel like if you become a cop, it's just instantly, like, to put in that bro there, mentality. There's two... Well, it, it's like the military. You get in that mentality where it's like, I have to think I'm better than everyone else or else I'm going to die. Like, I want to be more Mad Max cops. Like, remember Mad Max 1? They fucking kick the shit out of the guy before they take him out of handcuffs. Remember, they beat him with the batons before they release him. Yeah, okay. That makes it okay. No, in that more mentality where you're just like, we're just trying to do good. Yeah, a lot of cops are just trying to do good. It's the one douchebag who ruins it for everybody. I feel like it's more... Say it's 10 cops. At least... Six of them were douchebags. I think it's the exact opposite. Really? We want to know why? Because you never hear when a cop does good. You only ever hear when they do bad. We never hear about how many buildings didn't burn down today. We only hear about the one that did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Firefighters are awesome. Some of them. I just want to be a firefighter, but I'm like, yeah, but now you need to become an EMT and deal with all the blood. See, my older so. brother was trying. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So was Kyle. Kyle could have. Kyle's a fucking big dude. He would have been a great firefighter. He could have. Yeah. He had his EMT license. I know. But then again, you gotta, like, live at the station and work, like, 12-hour shifts, and, like, they constantly are cutting your pension and your funding, so it's like, why would I fucking do this if the town doesn't want me? Like, fucking, fucking New Bedford just closed down another fire station. Really? And the people in New Bedford are like, please, please stop. We need these. (laughs) My problem is I kind of want, like, a worthwhile job. Mm -hmm. Like, like... I don't know. You want to leave? You want to? You want to leave an impact on your community? I want to feel better about not just like delivering Amazon packages or. Well, think about our job. We're the reason people drive Volkswagens. Because if we wanted to, we could say none of these are good. <laughs> Send them all back. <laughs> yeah, I do like working with you. Yeah, I'm fun. It's fun. Besides for today, today was rough. I I was operating on one hour of sleep, and I'm pretty sure I was still drunk. <laughs> Because, like, at, like, four in the morning, I was like, well, I'm not sleeping. I'm wide awake. Might as well finish the emergency vodka. <laughs> <laughs> and then at, like, 7 a.m., I'm watching fucking Will Sasso compilations. And then I was like, I should probably try and get one hour of sleep. Do so yourself a favor. Look up Will Sasso. Great. He's a very, he's probably one of the most underrated comedians. Well, oh, com- like, comedic actors. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. The way he can... I wish... I wish I had his ability. He has like total control over his voice. Yeah, he can do any impression. And just... I still love the what's it called? Uh, the Sopranos one, the yeah. PBS Sopranos. Yeah, he sounds just like fucking go Gandolfini. On, go on YouTube and type uh, Sopranos in... on Pax. Is it Pax? Or yeah, PBS. It was oh, Pax. PBS. No, it was Pax because Pax and then Pax turned into like ABC Fam. It was like the Family Channel. That's yeah. why the that's each what... episode lasts like a minute. Uh, no, you shouldn't have that's... spoiled it. No. That, well... Fuck. Where's the Gabago? Like that whole like five second scene where everyone's just saying, and then like, it keeps hard cutting. It's on Amazon. I gotta watch it. Uh, Sopranos, yeah, dude. 
Anytime I get angry now, I just snap into Sopranos, like, mindset of, like, speaking, like, hey, oh, whoa, it's the boss of the family! <laughs> uh, but anyway. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hopefully watching. You're... Yeah, hopefully Chris comes back soon. <laughs> I miss him. Uh, no, he'll be back. No, he'll be back soon, hopefully. Yeah, probably next week. Corona might get him, who knows. He's going to California. I know, that's what I mean. Oh, China's right there. Like, right, you can see it from California. Just fucking get a They're waving to you. <laughs> Go get your homemade rocket. <laughs> <laughs> you have all that smog from Start it. your cult. <laughs> you have the fucking smog from fucking China coming over to California. It's a true fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucked up. And Garbage Island is like 90% China's fault. Yeah, it's all coming to California. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. And don't forget to watch Just Your Cult Culture for... Check out Chad's OnlyFans, or whatever it's called. What? You know, the thing that cam girls do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks, pals. Have a drink on us. For now, no, screw it poor. Here's our Patreon. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, look at my nose. <laughs> Fuck. Whoa, that sucked. <laughs>